Hello and welcome to another geopolitical analysis video. May I remind you to like, subscribe and share the video below. We previously explored the importance of the exclusive economic zone agreement of Elas and Italy. Now it is time to dive into the ongoing Libyan crisis and its relevance with the strategic alliances in the Mediterranean. Since Gaddafi's demise, Libya has fallen into ongoing civil war between the two dominant governments of Tripoli and Benghazi. The government of Tripoli, who is led by the GNA head Al Siraj, was initially supported by UN and NATO countries. However, General Haftar, who is leading the government of LNA, has been supported as of late by countries such as Russia, Alas, Egypt, Israel, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Iran, and recently France. The importance of Libya in the region depends on its massive energy resources and strategic positioning in the Mediterranean. Libya contains more than 40 billion barrels of oil, making it the largest energy holder in Africa. Erdogan's campaign, which has ignored the UN arms embargo in Libya, has set out to undermine and limit Haftar's LNA presence over the past three years of ongoing smuggling weapons, Islamic terrorists, and providing air force and naval support. Not to mention, twisting al Sarraj's arm to sign the illegal MOU to set maritime borders of Turkey and Libya as a change of al Sarraj's support. Turkey's broader regional approach in the wake of the 2011 Arab upheavals is a continuous effort to install the Muslim Brotherhood in power despite the disapproval of Arab countries. Turkey's involvement in Libya is twofold. Firstly, the exploitation and oil agreements of massive petroleum resources which make Libya's biggest oil resource in Africa. And secondly, but most importantly for Turkey, the desire to strategic encirclement of Elas. Elas and Cyprus over the past years have conducted research and licensed oil companies ExxonMobil, Eni, Total, Edison, the Alinic Petroleum Company and others by asserting Elas as a key ally with its neighboring countries in the sea especially after nearby large discoveries of massive Zor gas field in the Egyptian coast and Israeli Tamar and Leviathan gas fields in the East Mediterranean. These are massive gas plants that have locked Hellas, Cyprus, Egypt and Israel into a strong energetic alliance. Due to Turkey's exclusion and dispute over the economic exclusive zone in the East Mediterranean has put focus to pressure and intimidate Hellas and Cyprus. So let's discover why Erdogan has been steering chaos in Libya. Fast track to January 2019, the energy ministers of Egypt, Cyprus, Alas, Israel, Italy and Jordan, alongside with Palestinian authorities, met in Cairo to discuss the establishment of what would be constituted as the Eastern Mediterranean Gas Forum. This forum will be serving as an umbrella to cover the development of these energy projects. This has also broader geopolitical implications that can further bring stabilization and economic prosperity. Advertently, Europe has witnessed this as an opportunity to end its energy dependency of Russia, Algeria and the declining supply of Norway's fields due to maturation. Europe imports more than half of the energy it consumes, making these energy discoveries in the East Mediterranean very desirable. So this makes total sense why Turkey is desperately trying to establish a protectorate in Libya to ensure access to some of the oil gas reserves in the East Mediterranean that belong to Elas and Cyprus. Due to its far distance from the southern region of Crete, Turkey has been very desirable to create and legitimize the MOU signed with Libya because it will have access to sharing some of these oil energy resources. Or that's what they're hoping for at least. Now, it makes total sense why this protectorate is supported by Turkey, but it has good reasons why a lot of countries are opposing this support because they have no right to those energy resources. And after its continuous abusive and aggressive behavior, many of the regional countries are ignoring to making agreements with Turkey. 
Recent news indicates the impact of Russian aerial support with MiG-29 and Sukhoi-24 jet fighters, alongside with Egypt's recent construction of a military base near Libyan border. As Turkey seeks to establish a navy base in the area of Sirti, which is highly strategic for its exposure in the Mediterranean. And just like I said before, it's across from the island of Crete, where a lot of East states have been licensed to drill. So one other thing that we need to uh, mention over here is the connection of ISIS fighters with Turkey which has continued over the last few years after their leaders and fighters have been declared dead by the LNA army. The Syrian observatory has detailed that tens of thousands of Syrian mercenaries have been transported to Libya by Turkey, but also using Syrian children, which again shows the country's deep ties with crimes against humanity and terrorism. The unfortunate events in Libya are due to a broader geopolitical chess game of the redistribution of energy resources, just like I've mentioned in my previous videos. It is the alliances of neighboring countries that General Haftar's government will depend on to bring in stability and control. Egypt, Russia, Alas, and France have made significant contributions to Haftar's government. The friction and disapproval of Egypt and Saudi Arabia against Turkey's illegal intervention has become apparent after the renaming of streets that contain names of previous Ottoman rulers. Finally, one promising event was the mentioning of Gaddafi's son, Saif Gaddafi, who is said to be very popular and favored by the Libyan people. The Libyan Front political official who mentioned this to al Mahadeen said that Libyan government of al Saraj is no longer legitimate as it has expired and has not been approved by the parliament, making Gaddafi's son a perfect candidate to bring stability by slowly ending the civil war. Saif Gaddafi has made statements indicating his disapproval of the Muslim Brotherhood's intervention in Libya. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. My next topic is the billionaire George Soros and his involvement with extortion and public policy meddling in the EU. Bye for now.